Hey, oh, what's going on, guys? This is Margarita here, and welcome back to another awesome toy review by yours truly. So, today, uh, I wanted to show you guys a lot of stuff I got from Target the other day, because I thought I would review them here on the channel, because why not? They're kind of, they're cool. And you know what? I've done some other toy reviews of, of some of this stuff, which some of it might not come... Which pretty much most of it, I should say, is not going to come as a shock to anybody. But, um, what I have, but I wanted to review it anyways. So, um, let's, uh, let me get the stuff. And, uh, I guess we should start off first with some Bakugan stuff. Because why not? Dare I say why not? Because I got some Bakugan stuff and I thought I would show them off. So, let me real quickly plug in my phone since I did not realize it is dying. So... I'm gonna have to. Okay, I'm gonna have to get me a new stand. One second. I have to get my other phone stand to prop up the camera. Since I did not realize that my phone was about to die. So. See, will that work? Yep, that'll do. Be in the camera now. There we go. Okay, so I got a new. So I got my camera stand. Not a new stand, but. Camera stand there, and uh, let me get out my Bakugan I got. So I found a Diamond 3 pack the other day. And um, as I said, I'm going to show you what I got out of it. So, in the Diamond 3 pack, I got a Pyrus Bakugan out of it, which you will see what that is in a minute. I got a Orless one and a Darkest one. So two cores and one Ultra. So, let's have a look at them. So, start off with, we have this guy here. The Pyrus one. Uh, if just by look judging by the look of it, you might already know what it is. Um, this is D a Diamond Dragonoid Ultra. Pyrus, in this case. Well, it open on camera. Hey, there we go. It stood up. Yay, unintentionally. So, there you go. There is Diamond Pyrus Dragonoid, and he looks awesome. So let's get a close-up look at him here. As you can see, he looks gorgeous in his diamond color scheme. Most primary, his primary colors being translucent clear, py pyrus red, and green, along with an orange for the horn, and a little bit of orange for the eyes. So pretty, pretty cool. So as you can see, his little floppy tail, his big wings here, his little arms, which are on a joint here, so you can move them. As you can see, all the way back, you can... Uh, Spoil them all the way forward too. And pretty, pretty cool. So he has, as you can see, 500 Bs for a diamond. You know, interestingly enough, he actually has the Hyper Dragonoid card in the pack, which is very, very weird. That might actually be an error in this, in, in, in that set. I don't know. But uh, just for comparison, quick comparison, I'm going to bring out my, my Pyrus regular... My regular Ultra Pyrus Dragonoid. Hopefully this is... Yep, I think this is it. Yep. Let me bring him out. Oh, he's not even opening. There we go. Okay. So, regular Pyrus Dragonoid. So you can see Ultra. So you can see the difference between the two there. Pretty significant difference. So, there you go. And also it has 500 Bs as well. The regular Dragonoid Ultra. So that is the Diamond one. So, uh, really, really cool. Um, definitely one of the ones that I really was looking forward to getting because of that awesome Pyrus color scheme. And it looks really good as well next to my Sidious as well that I have. Oh, my Sidious. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to show him on camera. Well, I know. Yeah, I'm not going to bring him out. He's a pain to close. I don't want to go through that. So... There is your Pyrus Dragonite Ultra. The next one I got in the pack is, uh, which I guess I'll show off the, actually I'll save the best one, or at least the one that I was really looking forward to in the box. Once I figured out what the Bakugan actually was in the pack. And I'll show you guys what that is in a moment. So, uh, this is my, oh, this is the Orlis one in the pack, as you can see. Nice copper color to it. Pop it open. Oralis Trino Diamond Core Version. And oh my god. Ooh. This little precious jewel. Just messing up my whole recording setup here. But as you can see, he is a beautiful one. 
As you can see, he has a he has black on his eyes, black on the horn, and black on his other two horns above his head. So pretty, pretty cool. As you can see, he's very squat. He has a 300 uh, B power, uh, print, uh, printed in a pretty, you know, awkward spot there, but there you go. And for comparison, I'm going to bring out my my regular Ors Orless Trino. So you can see for comparison there, the difference between the two. Not gonna bother unfolding the horns on that one since the horns are pretty much the same. Um, except that they're clear instead of the oralless copperish color that's on that one. So, closing him up, I'll show you guys now the one that I've. Oh crap. The one that I'm really looking forward to. The reason why I dropped the Trino back down is because I actually folded his head in wrong. So. So there we go. Uh, but anyway, um, last one here. This one, um, uh, you know, just to make a joke here, um, I guess this Bakugan got its eye on me. And, and if you're a Bakugan fan out there, so if you've been keeping up to date with Battle Planet, then you will know exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see, is a darkest one. A little bit of purple, black on the ball form. Here's the magnet. Drop him down. And here he is. This is Darkest Diamond Clop Door. And oh my god, I love this little eyeball monster. Basically, this one is inspired by Tentaclear. Tentaclear was a G1 Bakugan that was basically an eyeball with tentacles that could ensnare its opponents. And it could shine a bright light from its eye, blinding its opponents. This one sh flies around and shoots freaking laser beams. Which is way cooler than shining bright light. <laughs> So, as you can see, there's the tail there on the back, little tail. You got these little wings on the sides and these big bat wings at the top. And then right here is his main eyeball. As you can see, there is his eye, his iris, his cornea, everything's there. And then you got the little eyelids, blinky blinky. So, pretty cool looking little eyeball monster. As you can see, look at him all the way around. Closing them is kind of interesting. So you got to close up the front part like that. Flip the wings back. Flip the tail up. Actually, you got to flip the tail up, then pull the wings in. Whilst holding everything together. And then you flip the wings down. Once you've done that, then you pretty much close them up. There's clap door. So, pretty, pretty cool Bakugan. So, I really like that one. So, that's been my Bakugan lots that I got. Really glad I found clock doors as that's one I've been really looking forward to getting just because it's just such a weird design. But uh, this next one, oh, not the next ones, but this, but the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, something is uh, from a from a toy line that I haven't gotten or toy series that I haven't played with since childhood. And man, this one's cool. So this here, which you, which I don't know if you saw at the beginning of the video, but this is the, um, this is my brand new hex bug I got, and I have not played with hex bugs in a while. So this is my hex bug, uh, scorpion. Yeah. So as you can see, it's a big old yellow scorpion. They come in multiple different colors. I believe it's like red, and I know there's like a, I know there's like a green, I think, as well, and a blue. So basically, as you can see, the tail is posable, well, jointed, so it wiggles around as the, as the scorpion's walking. It's not motorized, so just kind of flops around as it walks. All six of these legs here, as you can see, are motorized, and they are connected via a series of gears on the inside with a motor and everything. And then you have these other front pincers here, which actually help with changing direction. So basically what happens is that these claws will basically allow it to bounce off of walls, along with these little spikes. On, on the little spiky looking things on the front, that would be presumably where the eyes and the, and the mouth would be of the scorpion. So pretty, pretty cool. And I'll just give you guys a quick little demo how the scorpion works. So as you flip it on, the legs turn on, and it crawls around. I'll show you it running into a wall, as you can see. The claws allow it to bounce off the wall and basically allow it to change direction. So, pretty cool little scorpion. So that is my hex bug scorpion. Pretty cool little bug. Really enjoy that. So I haven't played with, like I said, I haven't played with hex bugs in a while, and man, the scorpion is cool. So I just saw it and I just had to pick it up because it's just so weird, but yet so cool.
All right, so the next one of the things I'm going to show off is, uh, is some more Ray stuff. And that's, and that's not a shock to anybody, I know. So brace yourselves uh, because it's time for some more Ray stuff because uh, so I well, saw some more Ray stuff at Target. And I was like, boy, oh, boy, I have to get these. So first off here, let me move the camera real quick. Let me turn the camera up. There we go. And um, first up, we have Star Wars The Black Series ray and i like this figure honestly this figure is a fun one um it's fully posable the arms move the the, the hands are fully jointed uh very very good the joints are very stiff so i'm not going to move it too much because the joints are really stiff still so they still have to kind of work them in here because oh boy these joints are stiff as they're stiff as a rock oh they're not going to move that much but as you can see, fully detailed. Uh, she does have her gun. Uh, as you can see, her little blaster that she got from Han Solo in the Force Awakens film. She still has that in her holster. Um, she has her staff as well, which is fully detailed. And it does actually pop apart, so you can't put it in her hands. So, And her hands are also really, really tight. So, that sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. Her hands are really tight, so it's really hard to get the... Getting the lightsaber in took a good like couple minutes to get it in there because it's really really tight but um oh geez eh, eh, there we, okay eh, there we go so uh really really cool little, little figure um it does come with uh dio as well who i have on the side here it comes with dio and dio is fully detailed as you can see um very very much, very very well detailed this one um you can see the head i believe is posable nope Okay, it's not possible. But the antennas on the back are actually ball jointed. I was very surprised. The back antenna are actually ball jointed. So you can actually pose the antenna around, which is very impressive. And something else that just shocked me is that the wheel spins. His little tire wheel actually spins around, which, again, really shocked me because I didn't think that that was going to be posable or movable in any way, but it works. It's fully functional. So, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, but still, I'm just so shocked that, th that these little things back here are ball-jointed. Of course, be very careful when posing these if you actually get this figure from the Black Series, because, oh my god. These things, uh, I'm afraid, will just pop off if you, if it, at the slightest little mistouch of these antennas. So definitely pose these with care. But overall, uh, pretty cool figure. I uh, really do like it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to it. Oh, and one last thing. I forgot about this. She actually has the pouch on her back, too. Which I think is awesome. Which she had that in the film, which was awesome. So, um, so really, really glad to have that figure of Ray there. So, and second one I got is from a presumably I think it's a cartoon. I don't know for sure, but it's called the Star Wars Adventures Ray. So here she is, short little figure. Um, again, the feet are just not all that posable. Oh, there we go. Wait, can I get her to stand? Eh. No, she doesn't stand. But um, as you can see, very interesting take on the character. Um, again, still has the blaster as well, the iconic blaster. Um, and she also has this what's called force attack, where basically she, like, swings the saber around. As you can see, uh, she has, like, a spring-loaded thing where, like, you pull her back and she'll, like, slash the saber at you. Shoom. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool, um, I guess. But, you know, overall, the look of the character is very interesting here. Very cartoony take on the character, but I appreciate it, though. It's it, it's cool. The force attack is meh, but, you know, it's still cool. I like it. It's a cool, it's a cool gimmick, you know what? Hey, it, it, it serves its purpose, you know, so, of just being a neat little gimmick. Uh, next thing I got as well from... From um this from Target was this little well not little but it's actually kind of big here on camera. This is my um Dio motorized bump and go little plushie. So basically what it does is that it has little buttons on it that that basically when it get, when it hits stuff it will spin around and it will just kind of drive around and make little noises which I'm not going to do on camera because oh god they are annoying. But um. But as you can see, it also has a little detail here for the wheel, the little motor hub there. So, pretty cool uh, little Dio. And uh, there's his face. Because he's so big on camera, there's his face. And for some reason, the antenna are all messed up. I cannot get him the full back uh, the way that they should be. And also, this part back here is fully detailed. So, 
Nice plushie. And compared to my BB-8 I got for the holidays, I actually move the camera out. There we go. As you can see, it is quite a bit shorter. There we go. I should have probably done that from the beginning. Just move the camera back out. Just moved it out manually. But there you go. There's those two. So really cool. And the next one, the next set of last things we're going to show off here on video. Uh, actually, a couple more things I'm going to show off is uh, I'm going to show off um, some new Beyblades I got, which again, again, isn't going to be a shock to anybody that I got new Beyblades, but they're pretty cool and I will show you guys them. So let me go grab them. Be right back. Alright, so next thing I got here are uh, two more Beyblades, as I said. Um, only two this time, not like the whole bunch like I did after the holiday. But, so this new one here is a shield looking Beyblade called Engard, also known as Orb Aegis, or Orb Engard. So, um, Aegis, which I'm going to call it for the rest of the video because I hate the, the English name Engard, so dumb. Um, but anyway, so basically Aegis is based off of, um, based off of Aegis or Aegis, which is a shield used by Zeus and Athena in Greek mythology. So, and it's supposed to be made out of like, uh, it's supposed to be, uh, have like the set, like the hide of the Nemean lion on it and something, something like that. Uh, you have to look it up for yourself, but it is a really cool sort of mythological thing. So let me quickly move it into a better lighting. Let me move my card out of the way. There we go. My card I use for the videos. There we go. Bam. There we go. Much better light. So, there you go. So, as you can see, it has little snakes on it, which the avatar of it, which is basically a shield snake thing, does have, and it uses the snakes to, like, bite its opponents to death and stuff like that. So, pretty cool. And, uh, and since it is Hasbro, it has no metal, so no metal. All this other part would be metal, and it also would have these little metal orbs on it, which in the Japanese version would allow it to, would allow for weight distribution to be balanced out on it. It also would have a lot more decals. It would have stickers, like, in the middle. It would have stickers on these little parts on the sides here, these little parts where my fingers are. And, uh, yeah, so pretty cool-looking Beyblade. Let's look at the parts of it as well, so that we've seen the layer. Then we get Outer, which this is the second time we've seen Outer. The first time was on Ori Calcum, that uh, the Rare Bay get, Beyblade. Um, pretty cool disc, uh, very good weight distribution. It's still re relatively useful to this day, as it does appear in a GT set, a recent GT set. So, pretty, pretty cool. I bumped the light there. And then lastly, we have the Driver. Now, the driver, sadly, has been butchered heavily from its Japanese counterpart. This is Quest Slingshock. So, Quest, uh, in the Japanese version, has a suction cup on it, which is green on that, uh, on that one. And the suction cup would allow it to basically stick to the stadium, allowing it to, to, to minimize its chances greatly of being knocked out of the stadium. And it was such a cool gimmick for the time, using a suction cup on a Beyblade. So, and also in the, in the cartoon slash anime, it, 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 it was so broken, Quest. But, anyway, that's besides the point, um... And uh, this can, and as I said, this is a slingshot, so its basic mode is, is this, and the suction cup here is plastic on this one, so basically it's always spinning aggressively, which is really sucks, but um, it spins around freely, so it is free spinning, so it like pivots around. And then for slingshot mode, you line up these little slots here, I don't know if you can see that, but little slots with these little ridges right on the sides there, and then you just snap it down. And you have slingshot mode, so basically that locks the disc in and allows it to move even faster on this not suction cup. So, and then to undo it, you just take your fingernails and you just grip onto the disc and pull it back out again. Oh, of course, you do need to have fingernails with this. I should um, I should um, emphasize that that if you're going that if you're going to use your quest slingshot mode, definitely have some fingernails because oh god, I cut my nails the other day, 
and my god, it is really, really hard to get it out without fingernails. So definitely have some fingernails when you're activating it, or at least have something on the side to allow to activate the sling shock mode and unactivate it, stuff like that. So, and there's the whole combo from the side. So that is Aegis. So, or, 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 um, also known as Orb Aegis or Engard. So pretty cool Beyblade. And the second Beyblade you get in this set, of course, is there's a double pack. We get what's called a, basically what I like to call a, a X recolor. Basically, so basically, um, Hasbro released a series of recolor Beyblades, which they nicknamed after different things. Like Poison, Fire, um... What is it? Stone. All kinds of different stuff with an X next to it. Like like this one, which is called Stone X Quetzico, also known as Stone X uh, Quad Quetzalcoatl, or Quad Quetzico. Q4 slash Q2. So, here it is. This is Stone X Quet uh, Quetzalcoatl. I almost called it Quetzico. But, you know, you could call it either way. But there you go. So as you can see, it is based off of a stone. So it has that sort of stone, sandy color to it, uh, along with this nice silver. Instead of the original ones, nice green with blue and black for that futuristic um, uh, reptilian look. Um, and as you can see there on the top, it does have a snake head up there, cobra head with fangs and a tongue. So very cool. And, um, yeah, so pretty cool. And I didn't mention already, this is based off of a Quetzalcoatl, as the name would suggest. Uh, which is a, which was a reptilian, lizard-like creature that was basically the god of, like, the heavens and the earth and stuff like that. So, uh, for, and that's from Mayan mythology, yeah. So, and then we have, uh, the Seven Disc, so, which is, um... Which is ripped straight from Legend Spriggan, releasing the Guy Larry system. So as you can see, it has little sevens detailed around it with some nice little, like, details. Like, I don't even know what you would call those, like, rivets or something? I don't know. But, um, so pretty, you know, pretty, you know, good disc, seven. And lastly, we get Excel Slingshock. So Excel Slingshock, basically the same thing as regular Excel, where it has the flat tip that allows for some aggressive movement. But if you twist the column at the bottom, it will pull up this extra column, which makes it extra flat, allowing for what's for basically the Slingshock, which is basically the Slingshock mode. So, yeah. So, and you can lock it back up like that. And unlike other Slingshock drivers that are, that are styled like this with the, with the twist and pull, this one's actually quite easy. I was expecting this to be quite painful as some of the other ones, literally, I've hurt my fingers just trying to activate the mode because they're so tight. So, uh, so there you go. So there is your Stone X Quetzico or Quetzalcoatl. So that is the double pack. And um, lastly, um, I will... Uh, show off this Lego set I got as well. So I found some new brick heads, which I have not built yet, mostly because by the time I got home, I was late at night when I when I did. So here we have this set. This is the Kylo Ren and Sith Trooper brick heads. So pretty cool. Uh, as you can see here, we have Kylo Ren and the Sith Trooper, which are the new uh, speed. Uh, not uh, not. St what, what am I thinking of? New new variant of a trooper. Not species. I was thinking species, yeah. Because they're aliens, yeah, totally. But anyway, so pretty cool uh, pair there. So And we get uh, Kylo Ren in his supreme leader look with the cracked mask, which is very cool. So And as I said, as much as I hate Kylo Ren, um, the main reason why I got the sets for the Sith Trooper. So Because honestly, I could care less about the Kylo Ren. Um, honestly, it's all about that Sith Tripper, so. Oh, and also to, you know, uh, fill out the rest of my Star Wars brickheads, so. Pretty, pretty cool. So that has been my look at, uh, our little look here at, um, some of the stuff I got from Target. Well, not some, all of it. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoy, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe, to your notifications on, and I will see you guys next video. Hey, Squad, and have a good